What's going on, guys? We got a title fight. Uh, I don't know what order you guys are watching this in, but we're we're doing this one first. We're going from early prelims to the main card or, or to the main event. Um, and hey, man, if you guys haven't watched the early prelims, go back and watch those. Maybe you can make some money if you're not interested. Hey, go out and go get it. Grab a pizza for the main event uh, and, and bet some money on the early prelims and go see what we what our thoughts were because we could make you some money, man. You never know. But <laughs> anyways, getting into the title fight. Uh, the Bantamweight division was vacated, and we got Piotr Jan and Jose Aldo Jr. for the title. Uh, I know a lot of people have problems with this fight because uh, they said, like, it was Aljamain Sterling. Jose Aldo doesn't deserve it. Piotr Jan doesn't deserve it. Hey, this is the fight we got, uh, and I honestly do think that this is a great fight. Getting into my pick, I think I'm leaning towards Piotr Jan on this one. Jan is in a more – this is – man, I, I get slashed for saying this anytime this comes out of my mouth. I think all the loss against Marias, uh, mm. and a lot of people disagree with me on that, but I do think he lost against Marias. And then again, I only watched it the one time. I think I watched it again after that. Uh, but from what I watched, I, 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 think, I think I remember that I, that I had Marias win in the fight. So mm. giving, giving Aldo the title shot, I was kind of like, ah, whatever. But so – Man, there's not really it, – it, I need to write this down. Yeah, so uh, there's not too big of an age discrepancy. Six years? Like, uh, and Aldo has been shown to win some fights. He had knockouts of, of, of uh, uh, Jeremy Stevens as well. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm just looking – I'm just looking at this fight and I'm thinking, okay, so Piotr Jan is in a more, far more comfortable spot than Jose Aldo Jr. Uh, Jan is fighting as a as a rising star. I will put it la in that in that way in his main weight class. This guy has been in the bantamweight division. Aldo, not only is he, it's weird to say Aldo has something to prove because he kind of does, and it's weird to, again to say that when you're in a title slot position. He's in a title slot position, and I truly do think Aldo has something to prove. He has to say, "Hey, those judges were wrong. I beat Marias. I just knocked out Piotr Jan, um, and I am a true bantamweight man." Even before he, he made his bantamweight debut, people were saying Aldo looks disgusting at bantamweight. He looks like unhealthy at bantamweight. Um, to be honest, I was kind of one of those people, but uh, I, I do think that this is a good fight. I honestly also see it going the distance as well. I I, I think Jan wins the fight. He's got such an a, a, such a balanced game. He's got such a great volume as well. He he his 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 fight IQ is so so good. Uh, and honestly, you can say the same with Aldo. But as I mentioned before, Jan is fighting in a far more comfortable spot entering his prime i see him outpointing although pretty well everywhere ufc calculator has this one at a 70.1 percent chance man jo jose aldo bantamweight champion of the world doesn't that sound weird it does sound weird i will i will have to admit well we're gonna have to get used to it so oh <laughs> uh, whoa i know i know this is a kind of an uncommon pick i've come to realize but i honestly think that jose aldo is going to win this fight Wow. I know this is kind of an odd one, but I've watched enough tape to f like f justify my decision to myself, at least. And here, let me explain myself. So a lot of people said that Jose Aldo at Bantamweight is, was going to be drained. He wasn't going to have the same cardio, but no, he, he looked good. And he had that amazing cardio and his chin held up. He ate a head kick from Marlon Rice. You know who eats a head kick from Marlon Rice? Nobody. He Not did. Not even Sterling, even Not though even it was deep, but... And he did that with his diminished chin. And since he is that bigger bantamweight, he's cutting down. He's going to be huge in that cage. And I think that he's going to be the first opponent, Peter Jan, Peter, Piotr Jan, sorry, I got to pronounce it right, has ever faced that will give him, that has a strength advantage over him. I think that's going to play a huge aspect in this fight because Jose Aldo in the cage is probably going to be stronger than Piotr Jan is. And what Jose Aldo does is he also brings the leg kicks. And we know what Jose Aldo does. He does those beautifully. And does he throw naked leg kicks? Hell no. He disguises them behind those beautiful jab, like those punch combos. One, two, leg kick. You'll never see it coming. Did you see the picture of Uriah Faber's leg after Aldo fought him? Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Oh, he does that to everybody. And Piotr Jan is going to want to get in his face and brawl. You see, the last people to beat um, Aldo was... Marlon Rice, no, he didn't, whatever. Uh, it's a, it was a close fight. And Alexander Volkanovsky. Now, Volkanovsky brings a perfect game plan to everyone he fights. 
when Piotr Jan brings the same game plan to absolutely everyone that he fights. He's never really shown a difference. He has those powerful shots. He has those elbows. He has those kicks. He's going to go in there and going to try and knock you out. But I think that Jose Aldo being the more technical, the stronger, and the more variation of strikes, I think that he's going to win. I think he, And also, I think he's also going to have a bit of better cardio. If this fight goes past the third round, yawns in deep waters. I'm going to say Jose Aldo wins. Jose Aldo, Bantamweight champion of the world. It's, wow. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> hey, you got it by decision then? Uh, Yeah, decision and late finish. Wow. Wow, that would what a sight that would be. I I, I want it I want it to be Piotr Jan just because a obviously I want to be right, but b my Ruski brat, my Ruski brat. I love it. I love it. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like Stipe Miocic is cross away. We got a champion, but we got Russia. But uh, hey, man, let us know what you guys think. Uh, really, really excited for this fight. And uh, wow, we got a disagreement in this one. Let's see if we can get an agreement. Who knows? Tune into the other videos, see if we can get some more agreements, and uh, uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Let us know who you have winning this one, because apparently it's 50-50 right now. you got to break the tie. <laughs> so uh, comment and let us know what you guys think.